Boom, boom, and it is a beautiful day in math class. We're going to start today by uh, determining the factored form function that represents this graph right over here on the right. Um, as we look at this graph, we can determine immediately that based off of the x-intercepts, which are right here, here, and there, we do have a cubic in this case. Okay, and we're going to write this all out in factored form. So number one, we start by finding those zeros or x-intercepts. And if you see negative five, three, and seven. Okay, so I'm going to write negative five, three, and seven. I'm going to put it in factored form. We've been talking about this in this activity. So I'm going to write, okay, well, f of x equals to a x plus five, x minus three, and x minus seven. We have to remember that when we use factored form, we're taking these x-intercepts uh, that you see right there on the graph, and as we take those x-intercepts, we're gonna put them in and apply them in as, an, as their opposites. Um, once we are here, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and find any point on the graph. It doesn't matter what point we have, except we cannot use the x-intercepts because we've already used them. I like to use the y-intercept, so pick the y-intercept. Um, let's, let's write that down. Pick the y-intercept. And in the next video, I'll probably not pick the y-intercept, but for this case, we'll pick it. Uh, makes life a little bit easier. I'm going to take that y-intercept. We have an x value, we have a y value, and I'm going to plug it directly into the equation. So negative 210 equals to a, and wherever I see an x, I'm going to put that value of zero. So zero plus five, zero minus three, and zero minus seven. And I love using the y-intercepts because the math is nice and easy. It comes out nice and clean. See, obviously, 0 plus 5, we have 5, we have negative 3, and we have negative 7. And then at that, at that point, all we really need to do is come over and uh, make that calculation of what 5 times negative 3 times uh, 7, negative 7 is. So let's just put that 5 times negative 3 times negative 7. Okay, and we get an answer of 105. So let's come back here. I'm gonna write negative 210 equals to A times 105. And then what we're gonna do is take that information. We're gonna divide off that 105. Okay, that cancels, A comes out and we get negative 210 divided by 105, which I know is gonna be negative two. Okay, so we get a equals to negative two. And the next thing we need to do is just rewrite our function. And then once we rewrite our function, we can go ahead and check our work. So let's rewrite that function. I'm going to write it in green so we can have it in place. So f of x equals to negative two is what, our, what we found our stretch, our vertical stretch to be, x plus five x minus 3 and x minus 7. We're going to go off to Desmos. We are going to check this because if we don't check it, we could get it wrong and that'd be a real bummer doing all this work. So let's go ahead and throw that in to our uh, Desmos cell there and see if we can uh, model it by letting it overlap. So I'm going to name it f of x equals 2 and let's just plug it in. Negative 2, x plus 5, x minus 3, and then x minus 7. And notice what happens. Um, it is, it did glow up a little brighter there. Okay. Um, there we go. It did glow up. So it started with a light blue, it went to a dark blue, light blue, dark blue. They overlap completely. That means we have modeled that graph with the correct factored form function today. That is beautiful work.